I'm not here just to be some gardener or whatever. And then she makes the gesture again. I'm not here to be some gardener or whatever. He is grobs. Oh, oh, oh no. Hi there, we're back with another installment of Muta Zion. <laughs> we're at chapter four, bath day. And Nono has just come out of the house and was playing with Yoke. He was playing chess with Yoke, and we were walking around trying to grow uh, seeds by the lighthouse. So, let us continue. Grav must be gone for like half the week. Hmm. I wonder how Eileen deals with that. Maybe she's not there independent enough. Oh, Tong's house. Never been here. Tong. Let's check out what's around. This console is ancient. Wonder what games he has. Hmm. An ancient console. Monkey's Crossing. Guess that's the thing. All right. Let's talk with Tung. No, come on, dude. Say something. What's going on? Everything okay? Hmm. Is he arguing with someone on the phone or something? What's going on? This stupid soap is so frustrating sometimes. He should tell her. <laughs> he should tell her he loves her. Oh. What? Why doesn't he? Does she love him? Hmm. I mean, he wouldn't know unless he tells her. I'm gonna ask. Why doesn't he? Why doesn't he? Well, technically, she's pregnant with someone else's baby. <laughs> But he doesn't care, he just wants to be with her. Oh. Oh yeah, because Tong likes Eileen, but Eileen is with Grobert, so. God, remember when people used dino juice for fuel? That is still a thing. Did I miss lunch? I lost count of episodes. Alrighty. What else is in here? Guess Tong's on team making beds is a waste of time. <laughs> Quite into this poster of two helmeted dudes having a cuddle. Hmm, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's pretty cute. All right, what's in our diary today? Wonder how Grandpa's reunion with Yoke is going. Yoke seems so stoked to see him again. Quite sweet, really. Yeah. It was. Should check in with Mew about this boat trip. Alrighty. So Mew is probably in her room. Let's collect some seeds first. There she is. Hi. Oh man, I made a decision. Claire's coming to the bar tonight. It's perfect. You gotta come. Don't ask me why now. Just come tonight. It's going to be incredible. Ooh. Like a movie. I just gotta copy a tape. A tape? A tape? Of what? Er, uh, okay. I am very curious what's, what this is about. A tape? Of what? You gotta wait. But it's you. You helped me see. Life is too short. Uh, good? What? <laughs> I'm just gonna say what? What? <laughs> what? I'll need to borrow his tape deck. But I'm sure I can get on the boat without him seeing. Hunter's feet gotta be good for something. Yeah, this is going to be great. Make sure you come along this evening. Okay, what was that about? Diary? Mew is 100% stoked about doing something in the bar tonight? Need to go along, if only to discover what. <laughs> yep. Need to show Eileen the lighthouse garden. Oh no, I wasn't able to. I should tell Grandpa about the lighthouse garden. Yep, let's go. It's already nighttime. Grandpa is probably already at home. Aha! There you are. The wanderer returns. <laughs> what? You've been the one wandering today. <laughs> That's right, Grandpa. You've been out and about and all that. Indeed, I have been out in the daylight. I am the cleanest I have been for weeks. I was able to see my dear friend Yoke. <laughs> he was the cleanest. I thought he meant clean as in like drugs, but <laughs> but he just means like he, he took a bath. <laughs> I am the cleanest I have been for weeks. Yes, finally, I have, a, I have taken my bath. <laughs> and let him think he beat me. I was able to see my dear friend Yoke and let him think he beat me at chess. <laughs> we have a lot to be grateful for. 
not least the new life you've brought into the world, eh? New life? What are you talking about, Grandpa? The garden by the lighthouse was a success then. Talk about the garden, demand to know more. Why would I demand to know more? Is there something that I need to know? I'm just gonna talk about the garden. Uh, yeah, I guess. I grew it and it felt, I don't know, it felt different to the others again. All jangly and tense. <laughs> Ooh, what, what action is that? And look, I still want to know why you think it's a good thing for me to do. What it is I'm supposed to be learning. Well... Careful, you aren't being swayed by the energy of the day. Careful now, careful. You see... Dear girl. Can you not call me girl? Why do you have to speak in riddles all the time? I don't mind being called girl, personally. But Kai seems to take offense by it. Why do you have to speak in riddles all the time? Hmm, she wants to get to the point. Can you not call me girl? Why, does she not identify as a girl? I don't know, <laughs> but I'm just gonna say this riddles thing. Why do you have to speak in riddles all the time? <laughs> I'm not here just to be some gardener or whatever. And then she makes the gesture again. I'm not here to be some gardener or whatever. <laughs> what are you here for then? Uh, escalate. Ooh, try and calm things down. Uh, why is Kai getting swayed by the energies though? Try and calm things down. To help you, I came to help. And why do you assume help must be given on your terms? Surely help should be defined by the person to whom you wish to give it. Hmm. I don't understand what you want from me. Stay quiet. I mean... Kai is just being a little dramatic, I guess. I'm gonna go and stay quiet. Because it is true. You should help in the way the other person wants to receive the help, you know? Today I saw some dots in the square. I am sure my friend the dot shaman sent them down to check on me. I thought I was feeling better. But after today's exertions, so... Oh. I find myself a little lightheaded. Mm. Mm. I am not in the mood to speak with you further. I suggest you go out and clear your head. Well, that was something, that was something. Lost my temper, I'm awful. Everything is awful. It's all right, Kai. Happens to us sometimes, you know? Especially when we have unhealed wounds within us. I totally get it. <laughs> that I'd call mom today. I could really do with talking to her, to be honest. Can we talk to Yoke? Tell us his experience with grandpa today. Dear girl. <laughs> I forgot his voice. Dear girl, so nice of you to say hello. I've had such a whirlwind of a day. Almost like old times, you know. Although, it has meant that I've somewhat neglected our research. Who won the chess game? Don't worry about it. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Grandpa isn't here. Grandpa isn't feeling well these days, and you know, you gotta take advantage of it while you can, you okay? Have no fear, I am making some progress. I was able to unearth a copy of a poem that isn't too different from the one you recited for me. Oh, I almost forgot about that. Seven gardens. So there is a secret? Hmm. Yeah, I did almost forget about it. Because it's been busy, you know? Seven gardens, mood is sung, papu flowers for the fung. Well, it seems like it might be connected to some carvings Manny left in the temple. I can't go out there myself, but I have found, but I found a rubbing of them in some old manuscripts. What did the manuscript say? Has the papu tree ever flowered? Yes, what did the manuscript say? Did they involve what I think must be a code? I can't imagine Ani would wish to keep anything from us except for the sake of safety. My cat is being extra needy today. Oh, hey! Oh, hey there, girl. Come on, come on. You wanna be part of the video. You just wanna lay with me, okay? 
They involve what I think must be a code. I can't imagine Manny would wish to keep anything from us except for the sake of safety. Anyhow, I think it's a simple rot cipher. I just need a little time to translate it. To drop by the archive tomorrow, I should have more then. Have I mentioned Kai? How pleasant it is to have a fresh young face about the place. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, you guys haven't had people here in like some 20 years. That's that's crazy. <laughs> I would be bored out of my mind too. I'd be wishing there there were new people and such. Um, you're welcome. Stay quiet. I should say you're welcome. <laughs> Why would I stay quiet? I wish I had a less peculiar way to express the sentiment. But your energy, a welcome change of perspective. Hard though it may be to believe, no, no, and I were young and full of energy once. I bet you got into loads of trouble. Make a joke. I'm gonna make a joke. I mean, isn't the, isn't the first statement like a joke already? But <laughs> I'll just make another joke. Always running around the place, energetically adding things to books. <laughs> Especially gathering information for the encyclopedia. Sunny days, punting our little floating lab through the swamp light. Ah, we would spend hours cataloging. I would sketch samples and Nono would make notes about where they like to grow. Whole seasons would pass in that happy, quiet way. Whole seasons would pass. Whole seasons would pass in that happy, quiet way. Oh, it's so cute. Mm. Glorious days. Hmm. I try not to dwell on the past. But sometimes it is nice to visit just for a short holiday. Hmm. I think I dwell on the past too much myself. Nostalgia is so addicting, man. It is so addicting. <laughs> All right. Said I'd call mom today. All right, so let's go directly to the bar or should we stop by Mori's Morish? What does Mori usually do at this time? Oh! People are eating here at this time. I forgot that this was a diner. Honestly, he won't stop watching them. I'm beginning to worry about the boy. Sure don't seem natural. <laughs> What's natural? <laughs> don't you think he should be getting out a little more? A little bit of TV is fine, but... He's getting through a couple of tapes a day at the moment. He likes them. <laughs> It's nice to escape, but after a while it can be hard to come back. That's so true. It's giving him it's giving him a totally warped sense of how things work, too. Yeah, <laughs> that can happen if you watch too much misguided TV. And when he argues with us, I could swear he's repeating lines from the shows. Oh, tongue is that deep into escapism, huh? Maybe you could talk to him, you? Get him out into the fresh air, hunt or something, yeah. I don't know, it's just his thing. At least you're going on this boat right tomorrow. Maybe it's nice to be romantic. Ain't how things go in the real world though. But what if it could, just with a little bit of help? Hmm, what does she mean by that? I settled a long time ago on the fact I was better on my lonesome. Anyway, I had you to look after. I'm grown up now. You get used to being on your own, love. Yeah. I mean, with a town of only like 10 inhabitants, I guess. Where else are they gonna go to to look for love? <laughs> of course, they'll just be content being on their own, you know. <laughs> uh, sure, there's the good times, but that feeling of holding any of your happiness in the hands of another? Hmm. Oh, we! I can't think of anything scarier. Ah, <laughs> true though. Hmm. Biffalos are pretty scary. <laughs> Biffalos are pretty scary <laughs> when they run at you. <laughs> <sighs> Enough about tongue though. Sorry, loves. I'm just worrying away. No, Mori, honey. I just meant I wanted to ask. Ask what? Ask what? You know, how you're, you're, how you're feeling after yesterday. Maybe I should just go downstairs and pick some more salad leaves. After yesterday? What happened yesterday? Was that the day that... I think it was the day that... Tung's grandfather left them? Oh no, it was his father that left them. I don't know. Is this a new recipe, Mori? Funny you should ask. I have tweaked it a bit. It's good. Hmm. 
You're going to be in the bar later, right? Sure am, kitten. Lots of stuff on. I feel... I feel like I'm glad there's lots of stuff on. <laughs> hmm. So cute, though, in this small town. Like... Yeah. I think you can get into the trap as well of, like, your perspective being too small. Because, like, you only know a few people, you know? Alright, we're at the bar now. You're annoyed. <laughs> Come on, Bo, let's just play. Don't want to play with a moody tongue. <laughs> I'm not moody. And if you lose, your moody mood will double. <laughs> Bofek is so wise. I mean, I think he's underestimatedly wise. Well, I won't lose then. Haha, -ha, yay! No! Oh dear. <laughs> a second round, come on! Gotta take care of my cat again. A second round, come on! But I want to stay the winner. <laughs> and not get you angrier. <laughs> Just play your game! <laughs> it's getting so riled up. Ah! Ah, no way! Yes! Ah, ah! Oh no, he punches it. Right, it's official. I'm a loser. You promised not to get moody. <laughs> but you promised. Ah, ah. I don't like moody. It's not that simple. Oh. Oh no. Diary. Need to show Eileen that said I'd call mom today. I really do. Okay, let's call mom. Okay, we're trying to reach her mother. Kai, honey, is that you? It's good to hear you. Hi, mom. Well, it is really good to hear her. I need a familiar voice right now. I'm so glad you remembered. I'm so glad you remembered to call. How are things going? They're definitely going. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Uh, I want to be honest with her. They are definitely going. <laughs> what have you been up to? Talk about gardening, talk about people. Hmm. Because if we talk about people, we're going to have to mention Grandpa. And are we ready to do that? Maybe I'll... Yeah, let's go. Everyone stops staring at me like I'm an alien now. A small community like that, there's... A small community like that, there's got to be a lot of gossip. I don't remember much, but I remember how warm it felt. Claire and I used to explore, run all over the place, get into all kinds of scrapes. But there was always someone to pick us back up, keep an eye on us. I could do with a whole village to watch, Toby. Hmm. Anyway, I'm so glad you're finding a place there. How's your grandfather? Talk about his health, talk about the tension. Well, there was tension and his health is kind of, we're kind of like shaky on his health. Let's talk about the tension because I need to release my own tension about things. I don't know, I, I don't know. I mean, he's definitely healthier. Oh my cat! But I don't know how a grandpa is meant to be. Are grandpas supposed to be kind of bossy and use a bunch of words you don't understand all the time? <laughs> well, I think it's quite possible that's how your grandfather is supposed to be. Honestly, sweetie, it sounds like you're making a real difference. I'm so proud of you. Uh, yeah. But it's all- Oh! Did I mention your brother learned a new word today? Stop it! <laughs> well, it sounds more like stop it. <laughs> I must- I must be shouting a lot. We really miss you, honey. I miss you too. I don't miss cleaning up after Toby. <laughs> I miss you too! What? What's sticky? Stop shouting sticky! Sorry, sweetie. I should probably find out what's sticky. <laughs> I'll talk to you Sunday, okay? Bye, love. Wait, mom, I need to... I need her some more. Nope, she's gone. Uh. 
What's a girl gotta do to get a mother to listen? <laughs> All right, so I'd call mom today. I could really do with her talking, with talking to her, to be honest. I just needed her to listen to me for a moment, but there's always some stupid bigger mess that my stupid brother caused to deal with. Hmm. Need to show Eileen the lighthouse garden. All right, so we still have the chance to show Eileen the lighthouse. And it seems like we're really ticked off with our brother and where is Eileen right now? I do not understand sibling rivalry that much because I am an only child, but I could I can really imagine that it hurts to have someone to have your to have the attention that you need be divided with someone else, you know. And yeah, that's hard. Piccolino seeds. Where is Eileen right now? If I were Eileen, I'd probably be by the lighthouse, I think. Let's see what Jelly is up to. Dennis. Goodness me, goodness me. Russell. I haven't seen readings like this for a couple of years now. Snurful, snurful. <laughs> Something is changing, Russell. For the life of me, I wish I could identify what's causing it. Huh. What is causing it? So he's like the village caretaker or something? What on earth is causing it? It was the bathhouse incident that gave me the idea! Dennis told us to work. We can track efficiency instead of efficacy. But one is a function of the other. A dirt sauna! I'm going to pretend you didn't say that. <laughs> a dirt sauna? <laughs> well, that was a bit of a mess. Why is it so hard to do market research in this place? <laughs> He may still be sensitive about the manure leaching, leaching incident. Still, he didn't have to throw the clipboard at your head. Honestly, I don't know why I try. <laughs> you know what I could do with right now, Medesty? What? A nice dirt bubble bath. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, pal. <laughs> Hello, Jelly. Human named Ty. I am attending to a task I have agreed to complete for the dot community. Oh, are you friends? What are you making them? Well, I assume that Jelly is just friends with everyone here. What are you making them? I am not, in fact, making a thing. They have noticed some changes to the quality of the foliage in the crown of the papu tree. I, too, have noted shifts in the nutrient content of the soil. I am preparing my observations for the alpha dot. Oh, there's an alpha dot. <laughs> I must proceed without interruption. All right, all right. I'll leave you to your work now, Jalei. So, there is an alpha dot. So, is he's different from the dot shaman, I think. All right, I forgot to take into account that there are dots and the jelly, the the little sausage people in the community. So I guess there's like 20 or so people in the community, I guess. If you could call them people. Am I being discriminatory? I don't know. Hey, hey, Eileen, I'm gonna show Eileen the thing I've been working on. Where the heck is Eileen? There she is. So she's just been waiting there. I forgot that her favorite place was the lighthouse. You've had a busy day, so do you like the garden? Hmm. So, do you like the garden? I want to ask her about the day, her day. Oh, I know. I had to sit down. My feet were aching too much. Hmm. Huh. The garden is a delight. It's almost like a change to the sound of sitting here. Recently, when I've looked out to sea, it's felt like there's a bleakness ahead of me and scrubland behind. But now it feels full and rich at my back. That's nice. Flowers and trees do give that energy, you know? Adds to the mystical wonder of a place. Well, glad to help. Stay quiet. I am glad to help. I'm sorry, I meant to invite you out here to show you how beautiful it is at sunset. It's pretty chill for sure. Do you come here a lot? I like asking the deep questions <laughs> to go deeper into the topic. It's my favorite thinking spot. Hmm. How's Nono after his bath? I think I'm gonna be evasive this time because like it was a lot to deal with. I'm going to be evasive because I think Kai has been through a lot. Fine. Ah. Uh, Nono is always a little frustrating. Oh. I'm so glad 
they're just those people who can tell when you're hiding things you know they can just sense it and i am so glad for those people because <laughs> like sometimes you want to say it without really having to s talk about it <laughs> i don't know don't get me wrong we all love him he thinks he's lost the scientist thing but you can still feel like a bug under a microscope you should just ask him to be straight with you that's what i'm going to do with grob oh. you're going to be straight with him he gets back tomorrow i'm terrified if i'm honest ah uh, it could spell the possibility of ending a relationship which is always always scary he was so excited about the baby but the baby isn't going anywhere is it yeah <laughs> i don't get it <laughs> hmm. he was away a lot about seven or eight months ago oh love i have to tell someone i have to practice telling someone i'm sorry you're just you're like a fresh of a f you're like a fresh pair of ears try and diffuse attention be earnest hmm should i diffuse attention should i be earnest um. <laughs> The song is getting real. <laughs> the background music is getting real. I'll be earnest. Cause like, I don't know what else to do. It's okay, just just say it. I don't think the baby is Grob's. <gasps> oh no! Is it tongues? Bop, 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 bop. <laughs> I'm almost certain, I'm, I'm almost certain it's tongues. <gasps> what and to think we were being shipped with tongue you know <laughs> i guess that was just maury's way to like get tongue's mind off of eileen <laughs> grobby decided we should live on the mainland he was away so much and i was lonely and confused and tongue was just always there to listen <laughs> i always thought of him as just this kid you know but then this time one night by the fire he put his arm around me you know like people say took me in his arms <laughs> suddenly i realized this kid was not a kid. He's man-sized, bigger than man-sized, really. And then things he said, they were just perfect. Cause he got them from a soap opera, probably. <laughs> like he'd been listening to me the whole time. Oh, okay, yeah, <laughs> it's a pretty nice feeling. <laughs> it was just once, it was just once he understood. He understood. <laughs> that makes me cry so much. <laughs> he understood. I think he understood. And when I realized... Well, I told him that was why we could never work, because the baby was Grobs. I don't even know if he knows how many months it takes or whatever. I'm awful. Oh, no, you're not. It's awful. Mm. I mean, cheating is always kind of devastating, but also, like, Grob isn't that great of a person. <laughs> it's not like he deserves it, but it's like, sometimes cheating happens because things can't be said. Ugh, it's hard. Hard not justifying it, of course. <laughs> Just that things have a reason. It's like a story from one of his soap operas, try and ease the tension. Hmm. It is kind of like a soap opera though, but like, I want to make Eileen in the moment feel calmer, so yeah. Can you imagine I'm saying something here, which is like the right thing to say? Cause I don't know what to say to all of that stuff right now. <laughs> ha! Oh. Okay, it is awful. It is awful. But I said it. I can tell him. Both of them. You're telling Rob tomorrow? 
you're going to tell Tung? Hmm. Yeah, I'm more curious about Grob because he's like gonna be so upset. And well, if she needs my support or whatever, you know. That's what I've decided. I don't know how anyone is going to react, but the truth is the more the, but the truth is the more important thing. Oh God, I should let I should let you go get on. I want to say thank you for the garden, but now I suppose thank you for everything. It's been so lonely. You've made me feel less alone. Aw. Well. That's nice. We're so glad we could do that for you, Eileen. We are so glad. Alrighty. Alright. So we're ending it there. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.